Buongiorno, my name is Jim Campanini and welcome to this segment of Wine Novice. As you have been following, if you've been following, you've seen our last two videos which have focused in on the red wines. Today, I'd like to share with you some white wines. Now, it's interesting to note that when I first started drinking wine, uh, and I mentioned that uh, on my trip to, uh, to Italy in the, um, in the late 90s, uh, it was basically I became immersed in red wines. And a lot of my friends that I, that I know, uh, they just drink red wines. They say, oh, white wines. Uh, you know, they've never had a big uh, affinity uh, for white wines. And, and, you know, I used to think that way, too. And then I started drinking uh, white wines. And I, I, I'd say to myself, if I am going to learn about wines and appreciate wines and enjoy wine with food, why would you eliminate 50% of the natural product that is out there? So I, I say to you, if you're just drinking red wines now, you know, that's fine. But you should become a pioneer, an explorer, just like me and, and like a, a lot of other people in this, this great world. Try some of these products. Today we're going to focus on three of the noble whites, like we did the noble reds. Here I have a bottle of uh, Riesling, and this is the uh, Dr. Lucen. Uh, it's from uh, Alsace, uh, Alsace, France, and the uh, uh, Mosel. No, this is the German one, and uh, Alsace is right on the border of France and Germany. This is from the Mosel Valley. This is a Fumé Blanc. Same thing as a Sauvignon Blanc. Fumé comes from California. Robert Mondavi, who was one of the original pioneers of the, uh, the, the Fumé Blanc uh, uh, in California, started this uh, many years ago. And this is from Chateau Saint, uh, Saint Jean. And then lastly, we have a Rodney Strong Chardonnay from Sonoma Valley, also a California wine. <coughs> What, why do we uh, why do we appreciate learn to appreciate white wines? Well, the main thing is, you know, we do it because we pair it with food. Uh, the the basic uh, uh, the, the basic uh, tenet is that you have red wines with red uh, uh, and white wines with white. Now, when I say oh, what is white, well, you have white fish, you have uh, pork, which is uh, considered a white meat, uh, white dishes. So. You know, anything that can enhance your taste uh, 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 when you enjoy this food. And I use this as a common experience, which isn't, isn't mine, but someone told me, uh, a sommelier in, um, in, uh, during my trip in uh, Sonoma Valley told me, it's like tasting a wine that does not go well with food is like brushing your teeth in the morning, okay, and then having a glass of orange juice. It's not one of the most exciting or endearing things that you do in the day, and you just say, ooh, uh, you know, with that taste. It, they just don't go together. Well, the same thing with red wines. You wouldn't necessarily pair a red wine with a piece of halibut or cod. The, 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 uh, the, uh, it would just fall dead. Uh, the same thing is you wouldn't necessarily do a white wine with a heavy meal, like a nice steak. Oh, no, you want that nice cabernet, that heavy Heavy, that heavy wine to go with that, the, uh, the heavy meal. So, so uh, today hopefully we'll talk, we'll, 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 we'll get you to think about these white wines, the different grape varieties, the different tastes that they have, and you take it from there and pair it with, with food. The second part of this show, we are going to have to, we are actually going to do a little wine tasting. Uh, I'm going to have a friend come on and uh, we will let her taste some of these wines and see what she thinks when she pairs them with food. But first, if you read, if you read my last blog, I talked about how you should store and keep uh, uh, white wine. You should always serve white wine between 40 and 45 degrees. You do, that's, that's called chilling it. It should, be, it should be cold chilled, but not necessarily freezing. You don't want to harm that wine, okay? You don't want little ice crystals in the bottle when you pour it, but it's chilled. Because naturally, when you pick up that glass, your hand is warm, it's going to warm up that wine a little anyway. So, 
So you want to serve it between uh, 40 and 45 degrees. Uh, and you know, when you're going to have guests over the house or you want a, bo a bottle of wine, you know, if, uh, if you chill it for about four hours before serving, you might have it lying in a, in a, uh, a wine cellar downstairs or in a cool spot in your house. You know, you could just pop it into that uh, refrigerator, keep it there for about four hours, and it should be fine. Now, why do we, uh, what, what is the big difference between, uh, 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 you know, white wines and, and uh, red wines? Well, typically white wines are of a lighter body. Uh, and what does that mean? It means that there's less alcohol uh, in, uh, that the wine contains. And when you think about it, you see those. You see the alcohol content on your uh, on your red wines. Those nice big cabernets could have uh, uh, you know 15 percent alcohol. Uh, uh, let's look at this Fumé Blanc. It says on the back here. Uh, this is. Let me see. It says it uh, by volume. This is 13 percent. So this is a 13 percent um, uh, uh, alcohol. This a Riesling which is a sweet Riesling, uh, this is 8% alcohol. Now, let's start with the Riesling. Uh, so Rieslings uh, can be either bone dry or they can be sticky sweet. And what determines that? Well, it's the sugar level. Uh, uh, usually, when you have a lower alcohol content, that means that it's going to be higher in sugar. Think about that. This is 8.5% alcohol, and this is going to be very sweet. So if you don't know the difference between a, a sweet Riesling and a, a dry Riesling, now you know. Okay, you check the back of the, uh, the, the bottle. If it's below, if it's below 10% uh, alcohol, usually means this is going to be sweet. If it's, you know, 9 or 10% or higher, it means it's going to be, you know, semi-dry. Uh, so when you think about that, preparing uh, with your foods. Uh, sweet wines like a Riesling go well with spicy foods uh, and uh, hot foods. Uh, you know, uh, curry, Asian foods, uh, they're great with basically anything. You can never go wrong with a, with a, with a, a Riesling because uh, th these, are the, 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 these are the ones that really cover up basically everything. The question is, do you like a, a sweet wine or an off, uh, or an off sweet wine? But, but, the, but this is uh, something that, uh, that uh, usually, if you're serving this to guests, it's gonna pop up on their, uh, on their tongue and, and uh, they'll really enjoy it. The, uh, the Fumé Blanc, uh, this one is an oaky one. It was put in a barrel, French, both French barrels and uh, American uh, 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 oak and uh, it adds a, a more of a vanilla uh, uh, taste to it, that creamy butter, buttery taste. And we're gonna talk about oakiness, I think in another, uh, another video, another, another lesson. We'll get into that, the difference between French oak and, and uh, an American oak and what it does uh, uh, to the wine. This Rodney Strong, uh, this was actually uh, uh, done in an organic setting, and uh, I believe it's an unoaked wine. And how you can usually, uh, uh, what, what usually uh, turns out uh, with that is it becomes a little more uh, acidic. And once you uh, get past the sweetness, the second uh, most important thing about matching wines with foods, but, but particularly uh, uh, white wines, is the acid. You would pair something like this, or even with the um, uh, the Sauvignon Blanc, which um, uh, which uh, is, is uh, uh, high in acid, uh, with um, uh, you know fatty fishes, a salmon, uh, anything that would cut through that uh, uh, you know that that oily substance and add really a a, a, a great taste of flavor to your um, to your uh, uh, to, to your meal. All right, if you, if you remember in our earlier video, you know, we're going to do the, uh, the five S's. We're going to look at that, cite that, look at the color. This is a little pale, okay? It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a pale color here, the Riesling. Um, going to bring it to the chest. Oh, that's very aromatic. You can, you can smell it right down here. Going to bring it to the chin. Now you can really smell it. And you know, I say don't read the back of the label of the bottles. Try to find this out on your own. What do you get? Wow. That is 
very fragrant, very floral, um, almost like some uh, some um, um, pear apple notes. I'm gonna sip it. Swallow it, boy. That is a marvelous sweet. And you know what? You can feel that right on the on the tip of your tongue where that sweetness first hits, and then the sides of your tongue where it really it really pops. And um, the great the great thing about this one now it's it's been about 10, 15 seconds, and I can still feel that that nice uh, taste that uh, uh, going down and and um, um, uh, this would be a great thing for a spicy food, almost like a, um, a spicy tuna, a sushi. <coughs> so very good. All right, now we're going to the Fumé Blanc, and this is one of my favorites, the Chateau Saint Jean. Uh, I tasted this out in Sonoma Valley. I uh, I fell in love with it. You can see this; it's not as uh, not as pale as the um, as the uh, Riesling. Uh, almost has a, a little more, uh, it's still light body, but almost a little more texture to it. I'm gonna swirl it around. Mm, I can smell it, but it's not as strong as the, the recent. It doesn't have that fragrance, uh, that you, the aromas down here. Oh, now I taste, uh, I can smell it right on my chin. Mm, almost a little, um, a little minerally. Boy, that is elegant. Um, you know, you can tell the, the oakiness. It's very creamy, very buttery. Great, um, a great, uh, great taste. There's a lot of uh, apple in there. Uh, very, very, I like that. I like that. Now let's try the Chardonnay. Almost looks like a little golden uh, uh, to me. It's uh, it's uh, very distinct. It looks um, almost elegant in that glass. I'm gonna just uh, swirl it right now. Open up that uh, that bouquet. Now Chardonnays usually they're not very they're not very uh, uh, fragrant uh, fragrant uh, sometimes at that uh, chest. But that doesn't mean there's anything uh, wrong with that. Uh, that grape. It is one of the most resilient. There it is. Now you can smell it more with that um, that uh, 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 floral. And this is a little more citrusy, which is usually occurs with an un unoaked uh, Chardonnay. I'm going to taste it. And boy, that really gets you in the back of the tongue. Uh, that acid, that acidy taste. Um, and you know what? This would be, uh, uh, this is a real crisp wine, and um, uh, this would be delicious with uh, fish, uh, uh, fatty food, even salads. And uh, this would cut right through that, um, you know, those, those oils, even that lemon. You put that lemon on the, on the fish on the top, and, and boy, this would go uh, right through this. This would really enhance the... Um, the, the meal, but, uh, and, uh, and it's, it's got a long, elegant finish. And I want to tell you that uh, these wines that we've sampled today, uh, they might taste like $20 a bottle, but they're really, really not. Uh, this uh, 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 this uh, uh, Lucen Brothers Riesling, uh, this uh, Fumé Blanc from Chateau Saint-Jean, and this Rodney Strong Chardonnay, they'll all cost you less than $13 a bottle. So you can go out, you can try these, you can sample them yourself. You can sample from the sweet to the oaky to the citrusy. Try this with your friends, okay? See what they prefer. Try it with different foods. And if you watch my next video, we're going to match these things up with different foods and see what our guest thinks, whether she likes them, whether she doesn't. And then uh, we'll try to find the right combination in our food pairing. So I hope you enjoyed this little uh, uh, taste test uh, today. And uh, come back and watch our next video when we match these wines with some food.